Hello everybody and welcome to URC round 15 preview. That is right, we're getting through four games left of the regular season before the knockouts. We all know how tight it is. I did my video on the race for the eight. If you've not seen that, go and check it out. Um, but yeah, we are back. We've got another round kicks off in about eight hours, so plenty of time out. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, before we get in, there will be a stream. I'm back home, the Wi-Fi should be better. So there will be a stream uh, tonight at about half seven. I'm, I'm going to be focusing on the Ulster Benetton, but I might dabble in and out of the Scarlet Sharks, depending on how the games are. Um, so yeah, but without further ado, let's go, let's preview all of the games. So starting us off, we've got Scarlet Sharks, as I just said. Um, now this game... It's more for pride, it's more for possession. Neither of these teams can get back in the race for the top eight. Um, mathematically, it's impossible for both of them. Um, so, yeah. In Wales, it could be an interesting battle. Um, both teams off of losses to Scotland, Scottish teams. Um, and I think that, yeah. I mean... This game will all depend on the Sharks team, which I'm pretty sure I could check actually. So it's a fairly strong team for the Sharks, they've got a good number of their internationals in. However, it is in Wales, which is advantage. Scarlets. Now Scarlets haven't looked that hot this season, neither of the Sharks, but I think Sharks have picked up their form as of recent. They've won like three of the last four or something like that, so they are looking better after a very, very bad start from them. Um, I actually don't know what way this game's going to swing. I suspect it'll go the way of the South Africans, if I had to pick one. Um, but I am really not sure. So, I'm going to side with the Sharks, but I'm not sure. Next up, we've got the game I'm streaming, Ulster Benetton. Um, I know this is an absolutely massive game in terms of the top eight. It's 5th versus 10th. Which might not sound that thing, but there's like three points between the two of them. And I think games like this are must-win games for every team, especially when it's against a team that's in the race with you. You know, if Ulster can get the win, they'll knock Benetton a bit, um, and they'll help themselves out depending on other results. Uh, if Benetton can get the win, you think, are they starting to maybe put some distance between them? themselves, you know, maybe starts to secure their place in the top four with three games left after this one. Um, is it the King Span in Belfast though, which means that home advantage Ulster, now Ulster have lost some games there this season. Um, They've also won games there, so um, I think Ulster will be looking for a big game after a game that I think most people would agree they should have lost to Car Cardiff. Um, bar that decision at the end. Um, so, yeah, I think that we will see an Ulster win, but Benetton are one of these teams that you can't count out this season. Um, I really, really wouldn't be surprised if Benetton win, um, but I think Ulster will get the job done as they kind of have to, to stay in the race. Next up, we've got, um, yeah, a Big game for one team. I mean, it's Zebra versus Glasgow in Italy. Um, Glasgow will think about this game quite a lot, looking at they are one point behind Leinster. If Leinster slip up at all, and their game is not easy. Um, you know, if Leinster slip up at all, Glasgow will top the URC. Um, so I think Glasgow will go all out for this win. Unfortunately to Zebra... They've looked pretty, They've looked better this season, but they're still not quite at the level that I think that they will be able to, you know, um, give teams like Glasgow a game. Um, so, yeah, I think that will be a fairly simple one for the Warriors. Next up, though, again, another exciting game as the Bulls host Ospreys. The Bulls are off of the back of quite a big loss to Munster. Um, 
in South Africa. Bit of a shock there. And the Ospreys are still riding high from that result against Stormers. Can they go two from two in their South African tour? Um, you know, and it's also Ospreys are deep in that race for eight. They are sitting seventh. They need to win. As I say, every game for oh, I think I had seven teams in there. Every game for all seven of those teams are must win games. Now I'm not saying they need to win all of them, but you know they 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 need to fight for all of them at least. Um, Bulls will probably want a win to avoid getting sucked into that. To be honest, um, I think they are in danger that if they lost this game and a few teams won, then uh, let me check table quickly. Yeah, if Bulls lose this game, they are in danger of getting sucked into this big group fighting for top eight. So, um, yeah, I think it will go the way of the South Africans um, for the fact that they play completely different to Stormers. Stormers play an open, expansive way, which means that if they aren't quite on it, like last week, there is tries to be scored by the other team from mistakes, which if you looked at... Quite a few of Osprey's tries came from a Stormers mistake. Bulls play in a different way. They play a lot tighter. Um, and I think that that will come into account. And I think the Bulls will win, especially at um, Loftus Versfield in Pretoria. Next up, we've got another massive game as Cardiff host Edinburgh. And I think this game <laughs> is huge. Um, as Cardiff away is a tough game. As an Edinburgh fan, Cardiff away is a tough game. Um, now, if history says anything in results this season, Edinburgh will win narrowly. And that's because Edinburgh seem to only be able to win narrowly. And Cardiff seem to only be able to lose narrowly. So, I'm now granted Cardiff will win, but I might not have said that. But, yeah, I think, yeah, this, this is going to be an arm wrestle of a game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the league keeps changing and I suspect whoever loses will lose with a losing bonus point. Um, I think it will go the way of Edinburgh because as I said, it's a must win game for them. Um, if Edinburgh can win this game, they really do set themselves in a good stead going into the final three games. Um, so yeah, I think this is huge for... Edinburgh and I think they will get it done although you can't count out Cardiff to be honest and um, they are one of those teams who can just turn up and play really well on their day and um, so yeah next up though again another really exciting game as the Lions host Munster um, now Munster I think probably can afford to let one or two more games slip before getting caught into that race, but I think they will want to try and win the rest of the games to get that top four finish in a home quarter final. Lions are deep in the fight with the rest of the pool, so they, they need to win every game. Um, Lions obviously off the... Both teams off the back of impressive wins. Lions absolutely thumping a second stream. Leinster, Munster um, getting a really good win in South Africa. Um, but let me just say, Munster Kings of South Africa, the six in a row over South African opponents, I, I think that they'll get it done again here. Um, yeah, I think Munster will win. Next up, though, and here's the big one. Um, what will Leinster do as they face the Stormers? Um, because Leinster will know that they cannot put another BC team out like they did against the Lions, because... You know, Glasgow are close, are definitely, if Munster don't get a bonus point win here, I suspect Glasgow are going to jump them. Um, and it's not a given that Munster are going to win. Uh, Stormers are really going to go for it, especially when they are still in this race for eight. Um, so I think that, yeah. I think Stormers are going to win because, yeah, they need to. And I think Leinster are going to be in a bit of trouble. Um, now it's Leinster, so who knows. But yeah, I think Leinster are going to slip. Uh, I don't know how far behind the Munster are in the table. I know Glasgow's one point. Okay, Munster's a little bit behind, so they'll probably only slip to Glasgow. So they'll probably drop to second. But um, it'll have Munster on their backs as well. And I think they've got to play each other. So yeah. 
I'm going to make the Stormers look to win that one. And then last but definitely not least, we've got Dragons at home at Connacht. Again, Dragons are kind of out of it. They've 15, I think they've only won a few games this season. But Connor are still deep in that race for eight, and I don't think they'll have many problems at Rodney Parade, to be honest with you. Um, I could see a Connor win probably by a fairly comfortable amount there. So, yeah, that's my predictions for the week. So, I have got Sharks to beat Scarlets, Ulster to beat Benetton, Glasgow to beat Zebra, Bulls to beat Ospreys, Edinburgh to beat Cardiff. Munster to beat Lions, Stormers to beat Leinster, and Connacht to beat Dragons. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the games, and uh, come and check out the stream at half seven. Can't wait to see you there, and thank you very much for watching.